My name is Captain Keith. I'm, I'm a captain on the B-Ship at Fire Station 3 in Rockville, Maryland. Uh, I started as a volunteer at the age of 16, and I was pretty much hooked from that point. So uh, I love doing this, so kind of a perfect fit. I took a bunch of tests, uh, entrance exams, and got hired at a smaller jurisdiction south of here, um, and wound up here 18 years ago. In this county, everybody's sort of trained to do everything. Um, in this county, though, however, since you're here, we have an engine, and their responsibility is to get water out of the fire hydrant, stretch fire hoses, and put the fire out. The rescue squad, we're trained to do forceful entry and go in and search for victims, bring the victims out, uh, ventilate, pull ceilings, stuff like that. Uh, and then the ladder truck, which isn't here, is trained to also do forceful entry, throw ladders, uh, get to the roof if they need to, to do ventilation with saws. Uh, the squad and the ladder truck have sort of the same jobs, but they're a little different. Uh, half of our guys are probably prior military. Yeah. yeah. yeah we, we have a, a pretty, pretty high military. You know, it's the whole quasi-military thing, so they yeah, so just uh, a little under same four, work, just different, different objectives. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Everybody who drives knows how to do a DOT inspection, and if there's something that's found uh, that needs fixed, we have a computer system we put that in, and if it's something really severe, we can call our central maintenance uh, facility and take the rig over or have somebody come take a look at it and either get it resolved or switch into a reserve piece of apparatus. Of course, you guys know about the WMDs. That's a threat in this area. Um, we have a metro tracks and CSX tracks right across the street. Uh, so that's kind of a danger we could run. We go from uh, fires to people trapped under trains to industrial accidents to uh, sick persons, overdoses, heart attacks, pretty much the whole game. As far as I know, to be a volunteer, you just have to be 16 years old and I, I think not have any criminal, be able to pass a criminal background investigation and a physical. Um, this is one of the stronger volunteer stations in the county. Uh, there's 14 career people during the day to cover the staff, minimally all the positions here at the fire station. And at nighttime it drops to six and the volunteers come in and cover everything else. Uh, they go through the same training we do. They have a firefighter one and two program, EMT program, and then a bunch of various little classes just to get them certified to be able to ride on the fire engines or the ambulance. Uh, you see people in their worst, people in their best of time. Uh, you learn to trust people very, uh, very well, especially with your own life once you get to know them. Um, and just things that you can even make up you, you see on this job. Everybody here is, gets along very well. Uh, there's a lot of joking around that goes on, uh, some practical jokes here and there. But when the bells go off, uh, everyone's very professional. And you know you can count on the person next to you, behind you, to do what's right and have your back.